I am pronouncing your name in an interesting way. Dr. Catherine Kibutungi. Just tell me how would I pronounce it if I was in Uganda? Chobutungi. Chobutungi. Nji. Nji. So Chobutungi. Wow. <laughs> you can tell I'm a Kenyan <laughs> to the core. Kyobutungi, Chobutunji. All right. Yes. I will get it. And uh, is that is that um so in Kenya we name we if it's a lady or whoever, like we carry surnames and surnames are usually like dad's names. So is that your dad's name? That's my name. So, in Uganda we don't have that. You have your own name. Uh -huh. So that's my name. That's your name. Mine and only in the family. Yeah. No so, one else has that name. Do you have a hyphen? No. A hyphen husband that you met in Germany? No. <laughs> you decided no I decided to in. keep my name because in, in science, like your your work is associated with you. So with when you, you change, yeah. it's possible, but um, yeah. some of your attribution may be lost. Right. Because you need a system of That's the correct. bibliographic database recognizing. Yeah the chop tunji without the dash yeah and then the chop tunji with the dash yeah <laughs> so i just said yeah my which name. started before you evidently all right yeah. okay yeah. so <coughs> what's his name yeah yazume yeah yazume yeah from Burkina Faso. yes his name is two letters long yeah y-e wow <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> catherine and yeah <laughs> yes. so when did you guys get married <laughs> uh 2008 Ah, so yeah, immediately so you came. No, no, you yeah, came to Kenya came in 2006. 2006. And so two years later, we So you got continued married, dating yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and your wedding was here in Kenya? or no, in Uganda. In Uganda? Yeah. Uh, was there any traditional <laughs> wedding in, in, in Burkina? Uh, I wouldn't call it the wedding. Yeah. But um, when you visit the family for the first time, yeah, uh, they hold village dances for the whole night. So my first time in Burkina Faso, we, yeah. we arrived on Christmas Eve, yeah. which was very strange. Mm -hmm. And the whole village danced the whole night. Oh my goodness. Until Christmas Day. Welcome this you beautiful Ugandan lady. Yes. Yeah, it was quite strange, but it was Christmas. Yeah. I was like in Uganda on Christmas Day, everybody's in their house, like yeah. preparing to go to church and cooking lots yeah. of food. Yeah. So it was quite strange that the whole village like literally spent the whole night in our compound. Yeah. Dancing the whole night. So that is as close as it gets to mm -hmm. A wedding yeah. in Burkina Faso, but everything we did in Uganda. And at that time, <laughs> obviously, you so a lot of your dating and getting to know each other was 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 in in Germany. Yes, a lot of experiences that you shared. What were what what attracted you to each other mostly, other than <laughs> book smarts and and the time that you are get you know the, the the school experience. I think you'd have to ask him. He says uh, he was struck by how outspoken I was. Who I was. I've heard that as a rumor because they how were, outspoken. They were in class. <laughs> in class, <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, I, I don't know. For him, I mean, I think as I said, you experience a different culture, you're yeah. a different country, yeah, and um, you know, being used to, you know. Ugandan men, if mm. I could say. Mm. So he, he was different, I think. He mm. was more down to earth mm. and he doesn't need, he didn't feel like he need to flex mm. anything. Mm. Ugandan men want to flex on you mm. if you are a woman. Mm. <laughs> and I didn't feel like he wanted to flex. Yeah. And uh, very helpful. Yeah. Like uh, he was very good with computers mm. and data. So mm. he was always wanting to help out. And I was like, oh, mm. this is nice. Mm. Like somebody who wants to, we are all struggling masters, but he wants to go out of his way to help other people. Mm. So that was attractive. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who reached out to who first? <laughs> uh, he did. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that bold yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're outspoken, but not just... <laughs> not that kind of outspoken. Not to, not to him. <laughs> he played hard yeah. to get? <clears throat> no. I don't know. No, mm. not really, actually. Mm. Uh, I was a terrorist in in second in university. Yeah. But by then, I don't know. I was almost what, almost thirty. M so late twenties. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was the right time. So I didn't feel like that was always my point of contention in university. Mm. Like mm. Um, I'm not ready for marriage, so mm. I don't want to waste time. Mm. Like have this relationship, which is not going to end anywhere because I don't want to get married while <laughs> I'm studying. Yeah. Yeah. And so I di I just rebuffed all in relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I was at university. Mm. So now I was mm. like, okay, this is as good a time as any to get married. So mm. no, mm. 
Yeah. I think it's ridiculous to play hard to get. <laughs> and uh, to add in on to the fact that this was a good gentleman approaching. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. All right. Mm. First track then to uh you you know all this powerful Burkina experience then Uganda is in 2008 2008 yep is when now uh, you have the formal mm-hmm. wedding in your home area yep yeah how is that so you, Uganda they there's something we call a giveaway ceremony okay. in my culture that is the wedding mm-hmm. actually if you do a giveaway ceremony and you don't do anything else mm. it can be legally recognized okay. ah. so it's a big deal like mm-hmm. your parents literally take mm. your hand and they hand you over mm. to your future husband's mm-hmm. family mm. so that was a big deal mm. um i don't know 2000 people mm. perhaps oh big, that's, and, um, that's huge that's huge mm. um it's a big it's a big day you dress up and mm. I, I think it's mostly for the parents, actually. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for the parents to give you away wife? is like the biggest honor that sure. um, they can get. So it was a big yeah. deal uh, for them. But it was strange because he's from Burkina Faso. Mm. And only a few members of his family were able to come mm. and friends. Mm. I think there were like four people mm. from Burkina Faso mm. who came. Mm. And so we created sisters and brothers and cousins <laughs> from our networks. We mm. had started with some people in Germany. Mm. They were back in Uganda. Mm. So we created the family mm. for him. Mm. It was cute, but mm. Um, mm. I think it was a bit strange for him because mm. he was overwhelmed mm. by mm. everyone else. Everyone else. Yeah. Then we had a wedding, a small wedding in mm. Uganda. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in Kampala after. The African. Like the church wedding. Yeah. Yeah. The giveaway ceremony, you're not dressed in white. It's no, African no, no, regalia. No, no. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. traditional. Yeah. But 2,000 people, wow. Probably, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Everybody came for that. Yeah. Because you see, he's from Burkina Faso. Right. He only had a few people from his yeah. family. Yeah. Ideally, a wedding in Uganda is like 800, 900, yeah. 1,000 people. Yeah. So, like a church wedding, yeah. reception with 1,000 people, when he knows like four of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the, the church wedding was probably a small 200 200 50. that is very small mm. <laughs> and so um then when you get married you um you get married there but then you relocate and uh you're living together in in in, okay. in, in kenya mm-hmm. you a lot of your associates and f- mutual friends you begin a whole new life together you're looking for you're establishing relationships afresh as a couple here in yeah, Kenya. Yeah. How so we that? came here before we got married. Right. We're here in 2006. So mm-hmm. we're working here and then we had the wedding in 2008. And then, of course, he came back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think, um, yeah, setting in a new country is not easy. Mm. And, uh, and, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I still feel like, I don't know, am I Ugandan or am I Kenyan? Mm. So, because like um, when you're growing up, your high school friends, your mm. university friends, mm. your the people in your neighborhood, those are the people you grew up with. Mm. Then you go to Germany for about five or six years. Mm. Then now when you come, as you said, you don't come with the people you left in Germany, mm. new country. Exactly. That's not the best time to start new yeah. um, relationships and networks. Yeah. So a lot of our friends we are from work. Mm. Uh, to, if I'm to be mm. honest, like in Kenya, mm. most of our friends are mm. from work. Mm. Uh, people mm. we met at work and they mm. became friends. Mm. And mm. Um, yeah, so I have like different sets of friends. Friends I went to high school with that I disconnected with and reconnected. Mm. And people I met mm-hmm. in Germany. Mm. And then now we have other friends in the US. Mm. Interestingly, most of them migrated from Germany to the US. So oh. we have lots of friends okay. there. But like different phases of life yeah. have different friendships. Yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit scattered. Yeah. 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 He, um, and when, when he went to the US and that you, you share that that's when you also got your firstborn um, baby girl, um, mm-hmm. who is now how old? 11. She's as, as of 20, 22, 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> 11, 10, 11 going on to 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mature enough, right? <laughs> what are her, her favorite things to do? Oh, God. Uh, she, I, I think she's going to be a creative yeah. arts kind of person. Oh. She likes dance. She likes mm. art. She's good. She draws very well. Mm. She has written some two books as part of a school project, and they are good. They're really good. Really nice. But she doesn't like it as much as he likes dance mm. 
So I think she's not going to be the doctor. Mm. <laughs> she's mm. going to be the mm. I don't know, dancer, mm. writer, mm. Mm. Or that kind of. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And and do you and you ha- you you later on got someone else? And yes, I have a three-year-old boy. You ha- aha. Yeah, fifty years old and with a three-year-old. <laughs> that's that's life. <laughs> beautiful though, beautiful though. Yeah, uh, when I'm seventy, he's going to be what twenty something, twenty-three. <laughs> that's nice. This is the one to take care of. So my of, of, my retirement is taken care of. Yes. He will be a teenager something. It, yeah. And what does he like? Oh God, he's three. It's still early to tell, but I, I mean, he's very troublesome. <laughs> yeah, he's three, so <laughs> I think people with toddlers can relate. <laughs> he, he, he threw a big tantrum on my birthday because he, they forgot to buy birthday candles, and he said you cannot cut the cake without candles. Oh wow! And there were no candles, and he threw a huge tantrum. Oh man! And he's like, I don't want it to be your. <laughs> I don't, be, I don't want it to be your birthday. It's my birthday. So you're saying it was his birthday. Uh, so he's that age. Okay. Really, everything is about him. <laughs> but he's, um, yeah, I think he's such a loving little person. Mm, mm. He tells me I love you many, many times in a day. And I mm, find it mm. just out of nowhere. Maybe I love you. So oh, that is I, really nice. I, I don't know. Yeah. My daughter did, didn't do that for some <laughs> reason, maybe. <laughs> I mentioned earlier, yeah. but he's, um, he's he's very good. And the pandemic has been good because I've been yeah. home all this time. Yeah. So yeah. before he went to school, and when he comes back, I'm always there. Mm-hmm.